Peter Sellers CBE born Richard Henry Sellers, September 8, 1925 to 24 July 1980 was an English actor and comedian. He first came to prominence performing in the BBC radio comedy series The Goon Show. Featured on a number of hit comic songs and became known to a worldwide audience through his many film roles, among them Chief Inspector Clouseau in the Pink Panther series. Born in Southsea. Portsmouth, Sellers made his stage debut at the King's Theatre, Southsea, when he was two weeks old. He began accompanying his parents in a variety act that toured the provincial theatres. He first worked as a drummer and toured around England as a member of the Entertainment's National Service Association ENSA. He developed his mimicry and improvisational skills during a spell in Ralph Reader's wartime gang show Entertainment Troupe, which toured Britain and the Far East. After the war, Sellers made his radio debut in Showtime, and eventually became a regular performer on various BBC radio shows. During the early 1950s, Sellers, along with Spike Milligan, Harry Seckham and Michael Benteen, took part in the successful radio series The Goon Show, which ended in 1960. Sellers began his film career during the 1950s. Although the bulk of his work was comedic, often parodying characters of authority such as military officers or policemen, he also performed in other film genres and roles. Films demonstrating his artistic range include I'm All Right Jack 1959, Stanley Kubrick's Lolita 1962 and Drive Strange Love 1964, What's New, Pussycat. 1965, Casino Royale 1967, The Party 1968, being their 1979 and five films of the Pink Panther series 1963 to 1978. Sellers' versatility enabled him to portray a wide range of comic characters using different accents and guises, and he would often assume multiple roles within the same film. Frequently with contrasting temperaments and styles. Satire and black humor were major features of many of his films, as they had been in his radio and record performances, and they had a strong influence on a number of later comedians. Sellers was nominated three times for an Academy Award, twice for the Academy Award for Best Actor, for his performances in Dr. Strangelove and Being There, and once for the Academy Award for Best Live Action Short Film for the Running Jumping Standing Still Film 1959. He won the BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role twice, for I'm All Right Jack and for the original Pink Panther film, The Pink Panther 1963 and was nominated as Best Actor three times. In 1980 he won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture Musical or Comedy for his role in Being There, and was previously nominated three times in the same category. Turner Classic Movies calls Sellers, one of the most accomplished comic actors of the late 20th century. In his personal life, Sellers struggled with depression and insecurities. An enigmatic figure, he often claimed to have no identity outside the roles that he played. His behavior was often erratic and compulsive, and he frequently clashed with his directors and co-stars. Especially in the mid-1970s when his physical and mental health, together with his alcohol and drug problems, were at their worst. Sellers was married four times and had three children from his first two marriages. He died from a heart attack, aged 54, in 1980. English filmmakers The Bolting Brothers described Sellers as, the greatest comic genius this country has produced since Charles Chaplin. On July 21, 1980 Sellers arrived in London from Geneva. He checked into the Dorchester Hotel, before visiting Golders Green Crematorium for the first time to see the location of his parents' ashes. He had plans to attend a reunion dinner with his goon show partners Milligan and Seckham, scheduled for the evening of July 22. On the day of the dinner, Sellers took lunch in his hotel suite and shortly afterwards collapsed from a heart attack. He was taken to the Middlesex Hospital, London, and died just after midnight on July 24, 1980, aged 54. At his funeral, he asked to have the entirely inappropriate, In the Mood, by Glenn Miller played. This was one of Peter's least favorite songs and a fitting comic twist to his own funeral.